welcome everybody to Snake Prince Vlogs. I'm your host, Prince Elias, and we're about to do a couple of update videos. Um, it's been a while, um, and with all the new, the new news, new animals, new unboxings, um, we still ain't forgot about the OGs. We ain't forgot about the animals that I've had in my collection for almost 10 years um, coming up. Um, and so we're going to do a couple of update videos. So this first update is going to be on our girl Coils, um, who is one of the OGs. She was like my fourth or fifth snake I've ever gotten. Um, and y'all know the story of Coils. She used to belong to a student who worked at a school that I used to work at. And um, when he could no longer take care of her, he called me and said, hey, would you want to adopt her? And we've been rocking ever since. Um, she's been one of the uh, heavy hitters with all the photo shoots. So when models be booking my snakes for photo shoots and stuff and projects, she's one of the main OGs that have been a part of some banging projects, banging pieces of artwork. Um, so, but as y'all know, Back in April, she went off food and refused to eat for me. We did an ultrasound at Nikki and Jason's place and come to find out she was building follicles. And so I decided, hey, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a try. And so I introduced her to her baby daddy, uh, Mr. Goat, and did that whole process. And so she gave me a clutch of four eggs. They are in the incubator. And right now we are at... Um, I think we're like 11 to 13 days out till we might get a pip, first pip. So I'm super excited. Can't wait to meet the little ones. Um, and I hope they all hatch um, healthy and good. I don't even care about the odds. I just want them to be healthy, alive, and thriving. But let's do a postpartum update on coils because y'all know when snakes lay eggs um they they are depleted they lose a lot of weight they'd be looking sickly like dying um but after she laid her clutch and i cleaned her off wiped the scent off and everything um the next day she ate and she's been rocking smashing food ever since um and so let's do a quick update and show y'all what coils look like now postpartum let's show y'all coils postpartum and she's kind of upset because I just woke her up. But she looks amazing. She's pretty much back at the same weight that she was before I bred her. Um, and she's, smash, she's smashing food again. And she even shed um, since, you know, the 60 days. Um, since, you know, she laid the eggs and stuff. So she's been smashing meals. She's back on her uh, bi-weekly schedule. And eating between smalls and medium rats, and she is doing great. Um, her personality has not changed. She was a little, you know, um, I'm not going to say aggressive, but she was very protective while she was um, had the eggs inside of her and even once she laid them, but that's every snake, that's every reptile, um, even if... They don't keep the kids, so the kids don't stay with them after they hatch. Um, th during, the, during the process, before they hatch, the moms are very protective over those babies. Um, but she's back to being a sweetheart, back to being my, my pet coils, and I love her. Of course, she is a pastel, just a single gene pastel, but uh, her baby daddy is a Cypress um, Mojave Gold Blush, so... We should be getting some pastavis, at least, um, in this clutch. Um, but I don't care if they all just come out pastel. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? But I can't wait to see those four babies, to meet those eggs once they pip. Of course, y'all going to get a vlog. It might be a live on Instagram as well, depending on the day. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is Coils. She is back to normal, back to normal, <laughs> um, and she is packing on her weight, um, back, and so I am so happy, but yeah, that's it, that's just a quick little update on Coyle's postpartum, um, I'm your host, Prince Elias, this has been Snake Prince Vlogs, and we'll check y'all on the next update, peace.